At three and five overall and one and four in Big Ten play, this season has not transpired the way Michigan State had hoped it would. And due to the events in Ann Arbor, the Spartans are going to be without several of their key contributors on defense. Despite it all, though, number 16 Illinois is on the clock, and it's where Mel Tucker and I pick up part two of our chat this week. You don't know when the investigation is going to be done. It is pending. So in the interim, how do you keep everybody just focused on the fact that you still have a lot to, I mean, you still have games and you still have Illinois on the schedule and just to kind of maintain like the, the laser focus. You know, it's November and um, I told the team, um, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. That's how this team will be remembered. And there's a lot of football left to be played, a lot of good teams. And so we still have a lot to accomplish. And so our challenge is to remain focused on the task at hand, you know, how we prepare, you know, how we how we train, you know, our mindset and our mental disposition towards competing, um, you know, on the road, a great Big Ten opponent. And so, um, you know, it's communication. It's uh, helping the players understand um, how to keep things in perspective and where they're and help them understand where their focus needs to be. We've taken a one day at a time approach um, to preparing for this game and um, reminding our players um, that what's always most important is what's next. You know, what um, actions and behaviors that we take, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis that create the outcomes that we want. And so um, our, players, our players understand that. Um, you know, we're embracing the challenge, you know, we're handling the adversity um, and what this team has seemed to be able to do uh, this entire season is stay together, um, become even closer um, and find a way to, uh, to prepare uh, like pros. And so I have a lot of respect for our team in that regard um, and this week is, is no different. What do you hope comes from Commissioner Kevin Warren and the Big Ten Conference? What would you like to see from them? Yeah, well, you know, I trust um, Kevin Warren in the Big Ten Conference. I trust, you know, our university uh, leadership. Um, and I know that they're going to do uh, what's best, you know, you know, for everyone involved. And so um, whatever uh, those things are, I'm going to support them 100 percent. Now, as we just sort of transition here to Illinois in itself, the game prep in itself, they are on a win streak right now, enjoying probably one of their best seasons in quite some time. Brett Bielema, what is your relationship with him, and what do you think of Brett as a coach? Yeah, you know, I've gotten to know Brett o over the years um, just through being in the profession. Uh, coaching is a very small profession um, in terms of uh, interaction, as you can Imagine, you know, everyone uh, knows everyone. And so I know Brett to be a great football coach. Um, you know, he's old school in a lot of regard um, based upon watching his teams play over the years. Um, they're very, his teams are very tough. They're always fundamentally sound and they, they play hard. I'm not surprised at the success that they're having. They have a lot of good players in all three phases and they're very well coached. Your defense has been making some improvements. You've seen it transpire over Wisconsin and then against Michigan. You're going to be going up against a similar type of running back to Blake Corum in Chase Brown, a potential Heisman hopeful. At least that's what he would probably like to see his, how his season would transpire. So how does that help you when you kind of go up against a similar back from one game to the next? Yeah, he's, he's a great back and, uh, and he's having a heck of a year. Uh, when you play a, a, when you try to defend a, a player of his magnitude, everyone's at the point of attack on every play. Inside, outside, you know, front side, back side, everyone's got to be on top of their game. We have to do a great job of setting the edge on the perimeter and building a wall inside um, to make sure that we take away any seams and run lanes that he may have. I'm not sure how realistic it is to think that you're going to totally stop him but you have to contain him. He is what I call a game wrecker. You know, if you let him loose, um, 
you know, he's going to take over. So it's a huge challenge for us. More than anybody, you know that as the head coach of the program, it starts and ends with you. You've mentioned that several times in your career here so far. You've owned that accountability aspect. How much more does that get um, reiterated in a week and in circumstances like this? It's always easy to be in charge when everything is going well. Um, but um, when you have you know, adversity, you have challenges, that's when it's really important to lead and to step up. Um, and uh, that's what I aspire to do every day. Saturday's meeting between the Spartans and Illini will be MSU's first trip to Champaign in six years, and they are definitely going to have their hands full in Heisman hopeful running back Chase Brown. All right, we need to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to sit down with MSU women's soccer coach Jeff Hostler, or as he's better known as these days, the Big Ten Women's Soccer Coach of the Year. We'll see you soon. Closed captioning sponsored by Hearing Life, helping Spartans love their ears. With 41 locations across Michigan, go to hearinglife.com to take a free online hearing test.